Okay, so the first card is uh, Fearman's, which is talking about dealing with uh, somebody or somebody making you very, very angry uh, and, you know, you're very upset uh, with this person. Uh, you can see this man uh, chasing off this little kid. So you can see that, you know, so you've had some kind of encounter with somebody uh, that has really uh, bothered you and has really angered you. And now you've got this card of Pilgrimage. And uh, this is maybe you've been taking, uh, you know, maybe taking a journey, a business trip, uh, maybe recently, or maybe you've just come back from a journey or a business trip. Um, you've got the plow over here. You've been working extremely hard. This is meant a little bit of physical work as well. This could well be mental work as well because it's the card ruled by uh, uh, Mercury. So, you know, you've been really putting your um, uh, shoulder to the grindstone, so to speak. So working extremely hard. Uh, and this could be, you know, starting a project off. So, you know, just starting off doing something and working extremely hard. So um, in the past, you've got the uneasiness card. Whatever you've been doing, you've not been getting along with people around you. They, maybe they've been making you feel uncomfortable in whatever you're doing. You've got a card of indecision, which is usually the lover's card. So there's some kind of choice that you have to make. You're trying to decide uh, which way to go and you're trying to pick the thing that is most important. So this has been happening in the past. So going to the future, you've got the hierarch over here, and this is getting some kind of advice. It's the hierophant card. Uh, in this card, uh case it's ruled by mercury in virgo so doing a lot of thinking weighing a lot of options and focusing on your work and trying to find solutions um you know maybe seeking some kind of expert advice as well so you might need to do that in order for you to make this decision you might need to get some kind of uh, expert input uh, before you make that decision and then you've got the biplicity card over here that is you know you're trying to reach a state of harmony um you know you're um trying to get along with the people um you're trying to reach some kind of peace within uh, that situation that you're dealing with so something has upset you you're trying to get back your balance again and um, you know maybe you also with this biplicity being in two minds about something but there's a lot of insight coming in for you as well so um, you know just rely on your instincts on how to proceed forward so here you are trying to get and you know get that advice that you need in order for you to uh, you know achieve what you want to achieve so these are the energies for that um, those two weeks So um, I'm using the um, Ramses Tarot for the main read. So you've got the Knave of Wands over here. Now this is generally a uh, energy of fire signs, but this is also receiving some kind of messages or doing some kind of travel. So you might be starting a new project. Uh, you know, building it up um, and you're expecting some kind of news to come in. So beginning something, uh, you might be collaborating with people from, you know, uh, internationally as well. But this is also, you know, starting to build. You've got the scaffolding over here. So you're laying some plans in place over here. You've got a new idea and you're, you know, you're, you've just started it. Um, and you're also waiting for some kind of news to come in about this. So maybe you made some kind of proposal. Uh, maybe you want a new um, um Maybe you want to start something new and you're waiting for that uh, offer to come in as well. So this is getting some news about that particular project or that particular enterprise that you want to do. So what's going on around you, you're dealing with some really difficult situations of here, some kind of obstacles that are that are causing a little bit of uh problems it is making you very angry whatever you're dealing with so there might be some setbacks that are going on you can see this person is extremely angry you're getting some message about it that's going to cause you to call to act you've got this woman with this red um, ribbon around her waist so something coming in for you this news is going to you know um, uh, spur you into action really and you're dealing with uh, a lot of difficulties a lot of setbacks at the moment and it's making you really angry uh, you're trying to uh, sort things out one at a time uh, but you're you know having to be very aggressive about the whole situation now uh, you are in a uh, situation um, you know where maybe you're waiting for this abundance to come in and something is preventing this payment or this money or you know this abundance from coming in 
and there are setbacks and maybe this is causing loss because these people are accumulating all these grapes so the uh, abundance is there and they are harvesting uh this is the four of wands uh, you know this is usually a celebration card but something has come in like these mice or these rats are now eating away at whatever they've accumulated so something is causing a loss or you know difficult people causing problems or difficult situation causing or diff difficult setbacks causing problems and causing loss and this you know was unforeseen but you're having to deal with it so this is you know putting you on your guard and making you feel very upset so in the past, you've got the Three of Cups. You've been spending a lot of time with family, uh, you know, in the past few years. Maybe you've had a lot more free time to uh, devote to your family and get your, you know, home life sorted out. With the Three of Cups, it's also about celebrating or meeting people up. But in this deck, it's about spending time at home and giving people, um, you know, your family uh, a lot more attention uh, than what you've been doing in the past. And getting, you know, uh, tasks that you had in the home sorted out. Uh, maybe you were ignoring them uh, prior to that because of your, you know, being very busy. Now, the Eight of Cups is, you know, you're being very strategic about how you're working. You might want to leave an old situation behind. And you. it seems like whatever you're facing at the moment, you're facing very, very stiff competition. So whatever you're doing, you're coming up with a plan. You're trying to do this thing very, very logically and, you know, play the game very strategically. Uh, but you also want to leave an old situation behind because it's no longer giving you satisfaction. So whatever job you're doing may not be producing the rewards that you want. And maybe you want to leave it and move on. You've got the Knave of Cups over here, so you're waiting for some kind of message for an offer. So this particular enterprise over here with the Knave of Wands is expecting a new project to come in, and here it's waiting for a new offer. Uh, you know, you might also be considering... Um, there's some kind of information that you're waiting for over here. And you might even be considering, an, you know, starting uh, some study or f a further course, something to do with higher education as well. And maybe you're waiting for news about that as well. So going into the future, you've got the Ten of Swords over here. So there was a very, very difficult situation you were dealing with. So this might be the ones, you know, you... Um, all these problems that you've been facing that's making you very upset and it looks like with the ten of swords whatever happens you're gonna have to just walk away from it uh, because it's not going to it produces some kind of loss uh, you know um, some kind of uh, setback that you cannot uh, remedy and with the ten of swords you know it's based on the fact that people are not getting along or there might be some gossip or some uh, betrayal that is going on around you and you might need to just walk away from it uh, it might be a situation that cannot be remedied with the Ten of Swords. It's the end of that difficulty or that difficult cycle that you're going through and now moving on to begin something new. So you might just have to walk with it, walk away from it because it can't be remedied. You know, you can't resurrect it. Um, you're going to just have to leave it behind and walk away. Now, wherever you are, you're feeling very restricted. You're feeling very tied up. You're feeling like people are, pro are preventing your progress. You've got the devil, uh, the uh, statue of Anubis standing uh, in front of the staircase over here. So you want to progress, but something is preventing you. And no matter how much you've, you know, put, uh, how much you've prayed about it or how much of effort you've put to try and uh, shift this uh, energy, it, it seems like a very negative energy, a very controlling energy. So somebody over there in your work uh, is really uh, preventing you from making um progress and uh, you know no matter how much you tried you seem it feels as though you're being manipulated in that situation and you can't move forward so being very restricted and uh, very unhappy it's a very negative card uh you know the surroundings are pretty dark so it looks like you know you've tried but this whoever this uh, person is or whatever this energy is is preventing you from actually progressing so you've got the hierophant over here and this is either doing a course uh, you know so either you are learning something new or getting expert advice from somebody or you become a mentor or become a teacher so this is about exchange of information this is also about getting advice about how to manage your money and that is going on around you so you're either acting as a mentor or in a teaching capacity or you are getting advice on how to deal with your financial issues or deal with that particular situation doing a lot of research as well with this hierophant card so you want to start something brand new. There's a new beginning uh, with the Ace of Wands. This is your hopes. So there's a new project that you want to take on and you're hoping that, that uh, you, know, you, you get access uh, or you be, you're hoping that you're able to do that. You really are enthusiastic to start this particular new project that you have in mind. You want to start something new really. So 
uh, coming up for you, you've got the Five of Pentacles, uh, the Six of Cups, and uh, the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Pentacles is about, you know, usually about loss, but there could be a health issue going on over here. So just watch your health. Uh, this person is being visited by the doctor. Um, and, you know, maybe all the stress is going to be, you know, having some kind of impact on you. So make sure you're de-stressing and looking after yourself. If you need some kind of medical help or medical advice, please make sure that you go and take it. This is also about, you know, worrying too much um, about uh, not having enough money. So this is about financial worries or financial situations. Uh, maybe all this um, problems that you're facing with the Seven of Wands is producing some kind of uh, financial issues or financial loss for you. And you're very worried about it and it's having some kind of impact. Uh, maybe you're having anxiety attacks about it. Now you've got the Six of Cups over here. Uh, you know, you can see this man is sitting with his hands um, over his ears. So, you know, it looks like you're a bit stuck in whatever you're doing. You may need to actually look at things from a different angle. Uh, maybe there's some advice that is coming in for you uh, that will allow you to change the way you do things. So maybe this is the reason why you need to actually get some of this advice or do some kind of learning, uh, some kind of research, because you, you might be stuck in the past in the sense that you're doing things the same way that you've always done it. And it's gotten a bit old fashioned, so you might need to change uh, the way you do things and take advice. So with the uh, Six of Cups, it's, you know, just being stuck in that past or, or stuck in an old idea and, you know, uh, not really uh, renewing uh, yourself. So you might need to renew renew your practices, um, you know, uh, or update the way you do things uh, in order for you to move forward. And this might require you going and doing some retraining. With this Eight of Pentacles, it's retraining or getting some information while you're working on the job. So you're able to multitask. You're very, very good at that. You're very good at what you're doing. But maybe that particular way in which you do things has gotten, um, you know, a bit old. Uh, it's gotten a bit old fashioned maybe and you need to really update yourself so you might need to actually go and do some further study doing a refresher course of something in order for you to update your information or update your skills so that might be the thing that takes you out of any kind of uh, situation and maybe this is the thing that's going to be um, by updating your, your uh, skill set you will be able to open the doors uh, for you to get a new job or for you to be promoted or for you, you, know, for you to move forward from the place that in which you're stuck so uh, that might be something well worth considering. So these are the uh, fairy tarot, and this is for the oracle read, and it says unfounded fear, focusing on the worst case scenarios and allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. So with the Knight of Winter, it's an anxiety card. You're very, very stressed out. Uh, you're very upset about something, and you're not even sleeping at night. So, uh, you know, you might need, like I said, you might need to find, work out a plan on how to actually overcome this. And maybe going for a refresher course of some sort is going to be the thing that gets you out of the situation. You've got the eight of summer over here, a desire for a more meaningful life, realizing that it's time to move on and choosing to make major life changes. So this is like the eight of cups. So you do really want to move away. So you've been thinking about it for a little while over here. You're planning out some kind of strategy on how to make this move. And it looks like, you know, you might well do that. You might leave the situation behind and go and start something new. You've got the Six of Winter over here. This is also movement away from something difficult. So there are two movement cards over here. Maybe you're thinking of leaving this particular job that you're doing and going for something else that is much, uh, you know, more up your alley. And you've got positive changes on their way, a welcome relief from troubled times, traveling or relocating. So it looks like maybe you want to change jobs. Uh, this could also be a business trip that you're taking, but it looks like with the both cards, the Eight of Cups as well as the Six of Swords, um, you know, it's like moving away from a difficult situation and moving into something that is much calmer and much uh, with less stress associated with it and it looks like that's the way you want to go so both these cards are moving away from the nine of winter so you're very very stressed and it looks like it's having some health uh, implications as well because you've got this five of pentacles not feeling really well feeling very anxious and you know um getting ill so it looks like you know maybe you you've decided that there's too much of stress with this particular job and you want to move away to something else so this is where you're at you're, you're trying to make the decision about moving away from it but um the cards also suggest that, you know, you might need to take some kind of refresher course, uh, some kind of um, something, some new information needs to come in for you to change your methods of practice. And that might get you out of the situation of stress and anxiety. Uh, because once you have that information, you have more authority and you will uh, not be so stressed 
when dealing with uh, difficult situations. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.